Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Yorkshireman 66. I'm Carl Mark, and I'm your host for this evening. I'm here to entertain you. Like I said, I was going to. I did say on my last video. Oh, I think I said it on my last video that I would do an history of, of my gaming. But we'll get into that. So, I, I, as you know, I've done my life on camera one, two, and then I've done filling in the gaps, which would class it as three. I've done all that. It's been received fairly well, and I've also done a Q and A and our questions and answers, which was done quite well. Which is thank you to you know Stone Cold Slasher Gaming UK Crowd and Nathan's Gaming too, and and anybody else who got involved in that. So, like I said, I would do how I got started into gaming, how I tipped my 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 little finger into the gaming community. And it all started when I first got my my proper gaming machine, which I which was a Commodore sixty four um, computer. Which, as you know, Commodore sixty four and separate da data recorder and things like you put your tape in and away you go. That was my you know first first way of getting into gaming, and and it's a lot of people's first way as well. A lot of people did Spectrum. A lot of people did CPC Amstrad. It's up to them, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people did, did Dragon and Acorn and things like that. But me, now, I stuck with Commodore 64, which turns out, I didn't do it because of this reason, turns out to be the best-selling one. Um, and my first game on that was Pole Position. I love Pole Position. The uh, second game I played on that was Winter Olympics, which was hard, but again, I liked it. It was something what I could take my mind off and play. And uh, then after that, I bought, uh, I think it was, well, around about 1986, right? just before me divorced at first ex, uh, wife, um, I got an Atari 2600 off my mate Kevin, with uh, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Defender, and I think it has space in it, I can't remember, oh, Galaxian, and that, and... Yeah, that I loved, I really did, I, I really loved it. At the time, you know what I mean, the graphics. Yeah, it, it, it was a step forward for, from what I'd been playing. And then as time went on, I got, a, I think it was around about 90, well, 91. I got a Mega Drive. I bought a Mega Drive. I, I've had Mega Drive and Mega Drive too. I've even had an Atari ST, what I bought off my mate Kevin. Um, and that, and then 97, I bought because I wasn't caring for me dad at this time. Um, I got a job with Security Corps Guardian at the time and I was doing... Um, no, it wasn't then, would it? Yeah, it was. It, no, it was after Security Corps. I was working for Anchor, Anchor Security at York. That's the one I was working for them. And uh, I was doing Salford Van Ayer. You know, guarding them, making sure all vehicles were, you know, not damaged and things like that. And I got an Amiga 500, and then I got a, an Amiga 500 Plus, you know, on top. And he says, oh, you can have that as well. I said, I think, you know, he said, you think it works, but it were a plus. So, yeah. But I did sell it. I, I did sell it on to my mate Wayne. Um, things like that. Um, and then after that, Really, I mean, I didn't get a PlayStation, a proper PlayStation. I didn't even get the original PlayStation when that first came out. I did get a Dreamcast in 2000, because that was bought for me, but I couldn't bring it back. And also, you know, PlayStation was bought for me, but that couldn't come back, because she kept it. So, fine. So, the way forward for me was 2003, just after when my dad died. Um... I had some spare cash and I, I, you know, I, had, I wanted something to take my mind off it and, and that's what I did. That helped me through my dad's funeral and, and, and grieving and things like that. Um, and then after that, I mean, I've had different consoles, you know, I always have different consoles. Um, in, in 2006 I bought the very first PlayStation 3 um, right up to there. Yeah, I had that, and, and I had that for a long, long time. I, I really did. I thought, hmm. Um, I didn't e extend on onto it, but yeah. And I was going to get a slim, but uh, 
girlfriend at the time bought me it, but couldn't keep it. I couldn't afford it, so I couldn't really. So I left it behind, basically. And that's what I did. Uh, what else? Yeah. And then, obviously, in 2013, I had my car crash. But before that, I was down at Huddersfield um, in rented accommodation. And I bought another PS, PS2. And that. Uh, and then. I came here. In, uh, I came to my mate Kevin's in 2013, uh, and that which is, but I didn't bring the PS2 because that was kept by an ex-girlfriend of mine, which I say no more about. In 2013, I came here. I had nothing, and Kevin says, "Do you want to buy this?" And I says, "Yeah." I bought it, sold it to me for a reasonable price, and but I didn't buy it straight away. He had it under under the table, here and I used it on his teller. He said I could use it, so that, that's what I did. And when I got PS3, he, you know, he took it all out, and then he said, "Oh," he said, he said to me one day, he says, "Oh, these all, you know, I looked at all the games what what he wouldn't play, and I thought, oh. so I took them. I said, "How much do you want for the system?" And these, he says. Yeah, you know, I can't remember what he said, so I can't tell you the price. But I did buy it. I ended up buying it because I thought it was pretty reasonable actually. So I bought it off him. And like I said, PS3. What I bought off Kevin? That was all right. I kept that for for a wee while. Um. And then car accident happened, and then I was in hospital. And then I was definitely in hospital from. From 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 December sixteenth, you know, when I got admitted, right through to <laughs> right through to February, uh, I th I think it was like uh, I think it was like end of December. And no, no, it was second of February when I got moved from from Leeds to Wakefield. And then Wakefield didn't keep me long. I I, I were only in Wakefield Hospital for about. Two weeks, and then they said I'd be better for a real, what they call a rehabilitation centre, and that's where they went. Um, and I was only there a week, and I went to this rehabilit up at Outwood. I went there, and they got me walk, you know, they got me functioning again, which was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You know, I couldn't wish for any better. Um, and then it was so that that was then, twenty fourteen, and then. I did get, and I can't remember, was it back end of 14 or begin, or, or, or was it, or was it in, I think it was in February, I think it was, was it, I can't remember, I can't remember the exact day, but I came back here, I came back by, you know, ambulance dropped me off and things like that, and I can't remember what year it was, I don't know if it was two, back end of 2014 or January 2015, I can't remember, so, but I was back here, and you know, I was walking about and that, and you know, and I was fighting, yeah, you know, like you do. You were fighting for your, you know, for your independence and thing like that. Kevin got me walking, so I won't be stuck in here all the time. He helped me out that way, which I'm very much grateful for. But really, I, I was watching YouTubers and that in, in, in 2015, 2016. I, I, I came across, like I say, the Radio Am channel. I, I tried that. That I, I won't say it didn't work. It did work. I just didn't put enough time and effort into it. And I thought, really, is my heart into this? And I thought, not with radio amateur gear, no, because it can be very expensive, which it is. Even gaming can be expensive, you know. What I mean? But it's lesser two evils. And I, I've been watching, yeah, you know, watching over. Other YouTubers do it like like Metal Jesus Rocks and Nathan's. Yeah, you know, I watch Nathan's gaming now. Um, UK Cow, he inspired me really. That's where, where the inspiration came from. That's where it clicked. Back, uh, I think it was in the middle of 2017 when I tried it. I know I was doing other things. I was camping as well, but then I was mixing it up with. I got this and I got that, and I seem to get the views. And I seem to put more time into gaming videos than I do in any other thing. And a lot of people have said to me, oh, you should ditch what you've done in the past. I feel guilty if I did that. I really would. If I mean, I wouldn't want to take them videos off. 
because I've done a lot. I've done a lot of day trips, as you know. I have done some wild camping, but I've done a lot of day trips, as you know. I've done a lot of walking around my own, my own city and things like that. And, yeah, you know, it might not have got a lot of views, but it's got some. And I'm still going on. I, I have slimmed it down. I must admit, I've slimmed it down. You know I mean? Come on. Let's face it. I've slimmed it down to amateur radio. So I do radios. I do the uh, I do the, I do tent reviews and camping and things like that, and I do games. So I am only doing three things, uh, things like that. But yeah, it's mainly gaming, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of gaming content on there, so that's what I, that's what I do the most, and that's where I'm most happy with that content. I really do love gaming. So to bring it right up, you know, yeah, 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 to bring it right up, 2017. Um, that's when I got the compensation. That's when I started going out with amateur radio and filming and going to Blackpool and things like that. Um, so look back, you've, you've seen me in a no hotel and things like that. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, aye, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, 20, yeah, yeah. 2018, uh, yeah, yeah. I got upped because I wanted a PS4 and, and that. Uh, I was upped. Um, and I got PS4, I got the Slim, the Days of Play when that came out. That was my first PS4, I got that and yeah, yeah, I played it and I used it for, yeah, I do use my consoles as a Blu-ray player as well and things like that. Because people say, how do you play Blu-rays with DVDs, man? On PS4 Pro and that's what I do. I do a lot of that actually. <laughs> yes, I do, I do a lot of gaming as well, but I do a lot of that as well, of, of entertaining and things like that. And to bring it out to up to date 2020, I have got original PlayStation, the small PS1, the PS2 Fat and the PS, and I've got two PS2 Slims. I've got the PS3 Super Slim. I've got a GameCube. I've got original Xbox. I've got two Wii's, the white Wii's. I've got two of them, and I've got a black Wii U. Oh, and I've also got a Mega Drive as well. That's the only console that I've got at the moment, and that brings you right up to date. So you can see the history, and you can see where it, but it really became serious for me. Now, I think it was in 20, uh, it became serious for me in 2018. That's when I started doing the CEX pickups, things like that. Well, someone will correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> You know what I mean? But that's where I think it started. Um, and that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Because I was buying a lot of camping gear as well and things like that. And, you know, towing and throwing. You know what I mean? And that. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. But one of the, you know, one, you know, obviously, obviously, some come and go, some stay. The gaming ones are going to stay. He's definitely, definitely got into my blood as that. Uh, the campaign one on the ra and, and the amateur radio, that comes and goes. I've still got all the gear, but it comes in flutters, doesn't it? And it's weather dependent as well. Whereas I can can do a game and show you the game, and I mean does. So there's no up to that, is there? There's no up to that at all, really, when you think of it that way. So that's the history. That's me all up to date. And I hope you've liked it. I really do. I I've, hope I've you enjoyed Watching an old man talking to himself for YouTube. <laughs> I really, I, I hope you really, really have been. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really do. Because, yeah, it's a good job. It's a good job. I mean, yeah, I, I'm into photography as well. If you're a member of me, uh, my Facebook group, Yorkshire 166, you'll see a lot of photographs on there. And a lot of other people put stuff on there as well. Um, but yes, I am on Facebook. Um, got a Facebook, so if you go to facebook.com forward slash Yorkshireman66 Facebook group, it's all there. York, facebook.com forward slash Yorkshireman66. I'm on there. I'm on Instagram, all one word. Instagram is Yorkshireman66. I'm also on Twitter at Yorkshireman66. So catch you all on, on them if you have them. If not, then I'll catch you back on here next time I do a video. So if you have liked this video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell. Hit all. That will let you know when. That will notify you when I put up another video. Please share this video to, you know, 
Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, if it hadn't gone down, uh, Parlour, things like that. All sorts of multimedia, and please, most importantly, comment below. I do answer all comments. Oh, well, I try to answer all comments. Maybe may be a bit late, but I do answer all comments, so I can't. So hopefully, I'll catch you on the next video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Bye.